guys, it's big, 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 big. The African Footballer of the Year. The finalists have been released. The finalists have been released. So, who do we have? We have Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who I believe is the holder of the award. We have Sadio Mane. And we have Mohamed Salah. So, I think this is definitely the right three. Because people were arguing that, you know, should Victor Moses have been in the final three? I don't think Moses has had as big a year as these three. I don't think I don't think yes. He's been very consistent. He's done very well. I feel Moses is his strongest position is as an attacking winger, but with the dimensions and the system that Conte plays and the players that are there, it's very difficult for him to play there. So I don't think Moses can actually put his best foot forward. So that's why I just think of with these three is it is what it is. Um I look at Obama Yang and I say to myself that again an amazing goal scorer. You look at his goal ratio for Dortmund is incredible. Because remember, he's not playing with stars. Like Dortmund's best players, they just keep on leaving. They just keep on leaving. And somehow, he's still supplying those goals. I just think that his goal scoring ability from game to game is absolutely outstanding. But I do feel like he's definitely struggling because Dortmund is struggling. So as Dortmund is struggling, the arrival of Peter Bosch didn't really help. The turmoil between Tuchel and Aharab, that, that, that didn't really help. So I feel for Aubameyang right now, it's he's having to do too much. There's only so much he can do. So he's having to carry so much on his shoulders. The, the weight on his shoulders is far too great. That's why I do feel like if he's sort of slowly gone off the, 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 the ball a bit. But still, because of the amount of goals he's scoring, with the kind of teammates around him, which isn't the Dortmund at the very best, shows just how amazing his feet still is. Look at Saudi Mane. Incredible. I think... Sadimani ability wise, in my view, just as far as skill and talent wise, and what he has is the best African football player for pure talent. Not really his performance, just for pure talent, as in because he's so unorthodox, he's so hard to mark, he's so unpredictable. He can hit you on the wing, he can hit you in the center. It's very hard to really know because he can go right foot, left foot, right, left. You know, he can, he has this weird awkward bursts of speed that makes it very hard for a defender to really sort of um, tackle him, really mark him. Just makes him so amazing. Which is why I just say to myself that um, he's, you know, look, man, he's, he's, he's done amazing, but I just think in the past few months, he's really, I wouldn't say of a shadow, but I think an, a teammate of his has just slightly pipped him. He's still huge, he's still very important, and you still see the kind of goal scoring that he still so supplies. But I, my focus is on Salah. This is his, his, his award. He deserves this award. He, what he did for Egypt, what he has been doing for Egypt, that goal he scored, the kind of pressure that was upon him to score that goal and score that penalty was humongous and huge. And all the stuff that he's been doing for Egypt as, as well. But my goodness, my Lord in heaven, he is already on 20 goals for Liverpool this season, which is mind-boggling. It is just crazy to even fathom the amount of goals that he's already scored um, for Liverpool. It's like he has improved so much. His technical ability, his ball control, his footballing intelligence, his the way you can depend on him in those situations to really execute. His finishing has improved so much better. His dribbling has, has gotten better. He is really ha has become a, a defined, refined footballer. Which is why 100% it's very hard to argue. It is v you, you, can, you can attempt to argue, but he's, what he's done this season, beyond the numbers, just his footballing and the consistency. I can't remember the last time he had a bad game. <laughs> I can't remember the last time this guy had a bad game. So for what he's done with Liverpool and what he did and achieved for Egypt, helping them to qualify for their first World Cup since 1990, means that 100% this has to be Mohamed Salah's award. And I think in January, I think this has been held in Abuja, he will be collecting the award and he will be winning his first ever African Footballer of the Year award. And maybe there'll be plenty more to, to come if he keeps on playing this well. Stay true, stay black. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a Half of Football Hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the Football Hot, for more analysis. Peace.